how do you maintain that culture, that simply PHP culture, with a developer that's in Nova Scotia, for example? Yeah, well, our philosophy is really simple, and it's hire nice people. You work with a team of nice people, you create a very positive environment, a very inclusive environment, and that's really the key, is finding the good character people that uh, have each other's backs, love teamwork, mm -hmm. and when we find those people, uh, we need to build trust with them as well, and once you get that trust, that's how you create that environment. And I think nice. that's kind of really what we're looking for. Obviously, the, you need certain developer skills for sure. Yeah. Uh, you got to jump on board day one running with us. What's more important? Someone's <laughs> ability, <laughs> you know this is coming. What's more important? Someone's uh, programming skills or, the, or their ability to really communicate well, to b really be a good person. And, you know, they might have a little bit less programming skills. Like, what do you, what do you prefer there? Oh, well, I'd definitely go with the personality because mm, uh, yes. we know when we're in the thick of it and when um, when the clients are, uh, when there's deadlines and pressure and things like that, you want to be with a person that is, you know, is going to deliver for you, uh, not on their technical skills, but on their pure... Um, Communication. Uh, well, their pure just ability to want to uh, work together as a team and get it done as a team. Okay, nice. So teamwork's super important. Um, at the same time, we do we do expect a certain level of developers, though. So it's yeah, it's a little. It, yes. Unfortunately, right now we're not at the size where we can just get junior developers to jump on board. Mm -hmm. A lot of them um, have the confidence, and they also have the communication skill, but they unfortunately might be missing um, a bit of experience working with larger clients, kind of uh, clients that we work with. So, okay. so so let me ask you now. Let's say, for example, we have forty. Uh, developers in the company right now, approximately. Um, let's say there's you know six or seven that are not in Montreal, have never worked in our office in Montreal, have never met us physically. What do you do in order to ensure that those people that are working outside of the province of Quebec uh, that have never been here, never met us, what do you do to make sure that they understand that they're actually part of our team? They're not they're not outsiders. Is well, that, has that been challenging? Well, that's a great question, and absolutely. Um, so it was kind of interesting that we kind of had a dry run uh, with remote workers with our own internal staff here. Mm -hmm. Because creating culture internally here with everyone at the office was super easy, going out to work, getting a beer. Super easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> no one was able to do that like you did it. Yeah. Well, you, you've been amazing. It's, it's, about, um, it's about leading by example. And also having fun doing it. Like, there's a bunch of great guys. There was a bunch of great guys here. It was just a matter of organizing them and uh, getting them pumped up for uh, either going zip lining or going for like uh, dinner or whatever. Just making sure there was engagement. And okay. uh, once we got that, we had that type of culture and it kind of translated, luckily, when we moved remote um, with all the Montreal people. However. So we were, when we, when we locked down in March 2020, we were only developers in Montreal. So there was two criteria to be a, an employee of, of Simply PHP. You had to be in Montreal or a surrounding area, and you had to agree that you're going to come to the office every single day and work nine to five. So in March 2020, that obviously completely changed. So when we did lock down, we were Montreal only still, and we were still using the team that we knew that, you know, were obviously working in the office at the time. Yeah. But that started to change probably in April or May. Yep. So you could tell people were getting a little stir crazy, uh, <laughs> and they, they were missing the office. They were missing us. We all created yeah. bonds, and uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, at especially right away, uh, Zoom has its limits. So, mm -hmm. kind of having that experience, and then kind of being able to rally, think about fun ideas uh, to do with the guys, whether it was like. Um, Easter egg hunts on our own website, <laughs> where yeah, we planted. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, we planted in um, coding errors on purpose, uh, just to kind of see who could pick them up. At, uh, well, you planted in coding. Oh, it wasn't errors. errors. No, purpose. it was actually it wasn't errors. It was little links to little uh, separate pages with little Easter eggs on it. Oh yeah, okay. That, there we go. That. That's what it was. Okay, and that was cool. Yeah, so we came up with, like fun little ideas like that to keep engagement up, and uh, that's really kind of helped me. Um, plan and be prepared for uh, eventually hiring actual remote developers okay. outside of Montreal.